An 18-year-old patient in Taiwan recently passed away under heartbreaking circumstances that have sparked widespread outrage and debate. The young man, critically ill, was being transported by ambulance back to his hometown, accompanied by his family who hoped he could spend his final moments at home. Tragically, during this journey, a car allegedly blocked the ambulance, despite the ambulance's siren and warning lights being activated. The family claims this obstruction contributed to the patient's untimely death. According to the Taiwanese news site eToday, the family had hoped to bring their critically ill loved one home before he passed away. However, their plans were tragically interrupted when the ambulance encountered a car that refused to yield, allegedly blocking its path. Despite the ambulance's siren and flashing lights, the car did not give way, leading to a delay that may have had dire consequences for the patient. In a desperate bid for justice and closure, the deceased's family released footage of the incident, seeking to identify the driver of the car and demanding a public apology. The video, which has since gone viral, shows the ambulance with its siren sounding and lights flashing, unable to proceed due to the obstructing vehicle. Enraged by the incident, the family is determined to hold the driver accountable for his actions. The deceased's brother even performed a ritual to ask his younger brother if he wanted an apology from the car driver. According to the brother, he received a positive response, compelling the family to intensify their efforts to find the driver. I just cast a divination to ask my younger brother if he wanted the car owner to come to the funeral home to apologize and he said yes. Please help us find him. The brother pleaded. As the video gained traction online, many netizens questioned the circumstances of the incident. Some wondered if the situation was truly urgent and whether the car driver might have been unaware of the ambulance's presence. Others criticized the ambulance driver for not switching lanes, which appeared empty in the footage. In response to these criticisms, the deceased's brother explained that the ambulance driver avoided any unnecessary movements because the patient was suffering from high brain pressure. This critical condition required the patient to be kept as still as possible to prevent further complications. The National Highway Police Bureau has since stated that if the car driver is found guilty of failing to give way to the ambulance, they will be issued a fine of NTD 3600, approximately 148 Singapore dollars, and have their driver's license revoked. However, this assurance has done little to quell the anger and grief felt by the deceased's family and the wider public. Adding to the complexity of the situation, Taoyuan City's health department pointed out that transporting terminally ill patients home does not technically count as an emergency. Therefore, according to regulations, the ambulance should not have activated its siren. This revelation has prompted further debate about the rules governing the use of emergency signals and the responsibilities of both ambulance drivers and other road users. This incident has brought to light the critical importance of road safety and the need for all drivers to be vigilant and responsive to emergency vehicles. It also underscores the necessity for clear guidelines on when emergency services can use sirens and lights, ensuring that both medical teams and the public understand and adhere to these rules. The family's grief and the public's outrage highlight the emotional impact of such incidents and the community's demand for accountability. As this story continues to unfold, it serves as a somber reminder of the importance of yielding to emergency vehicles and the potential consequences of failing to do so. Please share your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel, 2230, for more updates on this story and other important news.